This XP farm gave me 60 levels in one minute. That's all I have to say. Let's get into it for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. To get started, build three blocks up off of the ground. Go two blocks in one direction, two blocks in the opposite direction, and then four blocks like this. And then you want to fill this area in so you have a nice 5x5 five five platform up at the top of your pillar here. Now you want to make a three high wall around this platform that we've just made. I'm going to use glass because I like to see what's going on inside of the farm, but you can use any block that you want, does not matter. There you go. Now that you've got a three high wall around the platform, go to any one of the four corners and break those four blocks. And then drop down here and it might be helpful to mark out those four blocks, but that part does not matter. And then for now, I'm going to temporarily break that pillar that we've built up. Now we want to build a trident killer around this 2x2 two two square. So place a piston right there. Turn and place a piston, turn and place a piston, turn and place a piston like that. You then want to take your observers and place them like that so the arrow is facing into the piston. And again, I'm going to do that for all four of these spots. And then finally, you want to take a redstone torch and place it on the side of this piston. So one right there, one right there, one there, and one there. And you should see that the trident killer goes around in a loop like this. And then you want to take a lever and throw it on the front here to turn it on and off. Now what you want to do is throw at least one trident here. Now for me, I like to throw like 8, 9, 10 tridents because this farm is so efficient that the trident killer can't keep up and your game actually starts to lag because of it. So for me, I'm going to throw a ton of tridents on here. However many more tridents you have, the more efficient the farm is going to be. You can now take your blocks and fill in this area like that. And then I'm going to use glass for the front, but again, you can use any material that you want. I also recommend filling in these corners as sometimes the mobs do glitch out of here because there are so many of them that are spotting. And if you're finding that too many of the mobs are glitching out of your thing because of the mob cramming, what you can do is take this redstone torch and place an observer in its place and that'll do the same job while reducing the number of mobs that can glitch through the blocks. Now that we've got that part done, you want to come inside of here and fill in those three blocks leaving just one corner of the farm open and then go ahead and make a roof over top of the farm. Now that we've got this roof, you're going to want to go ahead and break inside of here and find the middle of our box. The middle is going to have two blocks out in all of the directions. Now going to this middle, look straight up and break that block. Then on any two sides, you want to take your dispenser and place it facing into the hole. And then on the other two sides, take some trap doors and place them like that. It doesn't matter which side you have these on, just have it surrounding the hole. Then go ahead and crouch. Take a campfire and place it on the bottom part of one of these dispensers. Take a bottle of water, a splash bottle, and place it inside of there. Place a lever on the side and then flick this lever so it puts out that campfire, just like that. Now coming outside of this box, you can close that up again. And you want to make a chamber around this hole that we've made that's three blocks high. This doesn't have to be glass, but again, I just like to see what's going on. Now fill in all of these corners with any block. And then make one extra row around those blocks that we've just placed down, just like this. Now go out one block and up one block, and then go up another block and make a two high wall around this platform. There we go, just like that. And then the final thing you want to do is put a roof over top of this box. Now this box up here is temporary and we are going to end up breaking it later, so the materials of this does not matter. The next thing we need to do for this farm is find some alleys, which can be found at pillager outposts. The alleys are found inside of these boxes by the pillager outpost. Walk up to them. You might have to click twice because they are going to grab it first, but you want to put some leads onto these guys and then drag them over to your farm. Now that you've got both of your alleys over by your farm, we have to get them inside of that top box there. So I'm going to take some ladders and place them going up the side of this here so I can climb up and then I'm just going to go to one of the edges and make a staircase so I can get back up to the top of the farm. There we go. And now that we're up here, I've already broken some of these blocks. You want to drop down inside of here and get the alleys in this box. Now, if you're finding they're not coming down, you might have to hop inside of here temporarily, but eventually they will fly inside of the box and then you want to close off that area. There you go. Got them both inside and now I can close off this area. Obviously, you can now take off the leads as well. Next, we have to breed these guys and get at least six of them inside of here. So to do that, take a jukebox, place it down and then put any music disc inside and then take some amethyst shards and right click on these guys until you see the hearts coming up and they will breed. You're gonna have to wait a couple minutes to do this in between each time, but like I said, you're gonna wanna get at least six of them. Once you finish breeding them, you can go ahead and break the jukebox. I've gone ahead and gotten 10 of these guys inside of here now, and what we need to do is get them inside of this glass chamber. So I'm gonna quickly, without letting any of them escape, break below the farm, 
And now down here, what you want to do is take a note block and place it anywhere that you want with an observer having the arrow facing into it. And then another observer facing that way. And you should see this note block with the waves continuously coming off. If they're not, you did something wrong like I did. There you go. You can see the note blocks are uh, continuously making this wave motion towards. And now what you want to do is go back inside of the farm. Give all of these guys a block, any block that you want by just right clicking them and you'll see they're holding it. And then you want to take that block and throw it inside of this chamber and they're all going to funnel towards there and then just close this area off. So I'm going to give it all to them, throw a ton of those blocks down there and then hopefully eventually they'll all end up flying down and then you can go ahead and close off this area. Now the next thing we have to do is get all of these guys down to that one block down there. So to do this, place a block, make sure there's a block there, place a block up there with a piston on it and a lever. And then you're going to want, I'm just going to temporarily break these. You're going to want to push that down. So they're pushed like that. Do that and then place another block, push them down. And then you might have to do it one more time until you see that they are all in this block right here. And then you can go ahead and not only break the piston setup, but also this entire box that we have up here. Now come inside of the farm and on the opposite side of your hole, you want to place a water bucket and then place a sign over top of that hole. Now coming back to the front of the farm, you want to find where these two dispensers are up here and temporarily break these blocks. So that's one right there and one is right there. You now want to take a redstone path and lead it towards these two blocks. So do something like this and then replace those blocks and place a piece of redstone on top of it just like that. And then wherever these two redstone paths lead, you want to place a button. So when you click this button, that dispenser goes off. And when you click this button, that back dispenser goes off. Now, as you can see, when I click my button, one of the trapdoors opens up. We don't want that to happen, so I'm just going to take this redstone and move it over one more block. Once you have this part set up, come inside of the farm, break those two blocks, and then replace them with ladders so you can get in and out. And then in one of the dispensers, you want to place your regular water bottles, and in the other one, you want to place your infested water bottles. Now, to use the farm, you want to light this with a flint and steel. Don't worry, they're never actually going to die. Then come out of the farm and cover this area up. And then what you want to do is first turn on the Trident Killer. Very important. There we go. And then finally flick this button or click that button. And you're going to see a ton of silverfish come flooding out of here and falling down here. Now, like I mentioned, some of them might end up bugging out, which is why it's a good idea to place some blocks here. But as you can see, this farm has been on for a couple seconds and the levels are already flooding in. Now, I recommend not leaving this farm on for too long. Otherwise, as you can see, your game will bug out pretty quickly. So click the button that has the water bottles inside and it'll stop the farm from spawning silverfish. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As well, you could download this exact world. It's the first link in the description. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Blaze Dempsey out.